My Sonet Library is an online streaming service full of embroidery designs. There are currently over 5,500 embroidery designs with more being added every week. You can browse for the individual categories or search directly for a design and you can save as many as you like to your favourites. The latest designs added will also be found here on the home page of the library. Once you've found the design you like, you can send it directly to your MySonet enabled machine or your MySonet software. When you sign up for either the Silver or the Platinum subscription, of the MySonet software, you automatically get the MySonet library included. MySonet library and the designs will only work with MySonet enabled machines. Currently, this includes the FAF Creative Icon, the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. the Designer Epic, the Husqvarna Viking Designer Sapphire 85, and the Brilliance 80. You can use the MySonet library on either your PC or your tablet. On the Designer Epic 2 and the Designer Sapphire 85 models, you can also view the MySonet library directly on your sewing machine screen. It has its own individual tab. The most recently added designs will be displayed first, and you can scroll down. And you've even got the search bar at the top for you to search for a particular design. From here, you can just select the design and bring it straight in ready for embroidery. The designs on the MySonet library will only appear on your machine if you are signed in to your MySonet account and you have a valid subscription to either the Platinum or the Silver MySonet embroidery software packages. Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and in this video I'm going to show you some of the features of the MySonet library. So this is the home page. Um, you can see that there's information here, there's a section on news which is if I scroll down you can see that's basically any of the latest news, uh, stories, maybe features or accessories and if you scroll down a bit further there's a tips and hints section which is really useful if you're new to digital embroidery or perhaps trying a technique like yarn couching or using an accessory for the first time. So there's useful tint, uh, tips and hints there. Again, if I scroll down further, what you'll then see is the latest designs that have been added every week. And it's quite interesting to, if you see something that you think is uh, uh, appealing, to actually if you click on the little uh, uh, pink arrow, it will actually show you um, other designs uh, related to that collection and that's just a really useful way of getting a sense of, of what's going on. So I'm going to go all the way back up to the top and in actual fact I am going to click on browse categories. So there's over five and a half thousand um, uh, designs in the library and uh, basically they're being added to all the time, but they've been organized to try and help you uh, find what you want into sections like children's designs, freestanding laces, project in the hoop, all sorts of stuff that you might find sort of topics that you, you know that you're going to find interesting. 
but what in actual fact I'm going to do is in this box here I'm actually going to type a um, I want to see designs that have a heart motif so I've clicked on the search button and you can see again we've got uh, uh, 180 designs here and I'm you can see that we've got all sorts of designs we've got felting designs um, we've got uh, quilt designs um, there's just a, a, a kind of a huge variety but I'm going to choose this design to uh, talk about a bit more but what I just want you to do is before I open it up is just point out can you see there's this little aeroplane paper aeroplane logo and there's a little heart logo and they're shortcuts but I'll, I'll explain what they do in a minute so I'm going to open this uh, up so uh, what you can actually do as well if you want to have a closer look I'm going to click on the kind of four arrows and that gives me a really good clear image it allows me to have a look at what's going on with this candle wicking designs in there okay I know that I'm going to be happy with that let's have a look at what else it tells me so on here this is telling me how many uh, uh, color blocks we've got we've got the number of stitches here and then we've got the height of the design in mill and we've got the width of the design and you can see that there are suggestions here on the thread uh, color what's quite interesting if you scroll down they will have related designs so they might be in the same collection or on the same theme and again I've got the little arrow where I can just have a look and see if there's anything else in that collection that maybe I might want to link up so I'm just going to go back up to the top and talk about these icons up here now can you remember there was this little heart icon on a shortcut and this allows you to add the design essentially to your favorite list so it might be that you know that uh, uh, you're kind of browsing through the collection and you can't quite make up your mind but you can make a short list so that would be a great way of, of identifying so you can go back to them this next button if I click on this there you go you can see from the dialog box that this has gone up to uh, my Sonet cloud account so as part of your subscription to uh, the my Sonet embroidery you have access to um, a, a cloud account where you can save designs that you can then pull down at a later stage either on direct onto uh, if you have a Wi-Fi enabled sewing machine or you can open them in the software so I'm just going to close this window now and so um, another option would be uh, this one here the little paper aeroplane so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and it's giving me two choices so the first is basically my tower system this is the computer I'm currently on so I'm going to click on that and you can see the dialog message is saying that it has been sent uh, to my uh, uh, computer and here it is opened already in the software that for instance I could then go into uh, the letter tab and I could put my name on here because I'm customizing it and I'm going to go with a curve because I quite like curved lettering and goodness me you can see oh let me just click on that I can move that around so that I've got that uh, my name in here um, and uh, I can then uh, customize it rotate it use the encore features those kind of things but again I'm going to go back to uh, the software uh, sorry uh, beg your pardon to my Sonet library I'm just going to close that down and the last option here if I click it is I'm lucky enough to have a designer epic 2 a Wi-Fi enabled machine and so if I click on that you can see the message is saying um, that the design has been sent to my machine so my uh, machine has been turned on it's upstairs in my workroom and if I was to go up there now that design would be on my embroidery machine so I could stitch it out straight away so I hope you found that this is a, a, a useful um, uh, instructional video just showing you 
uh, some of the aspects of the MySoNet library. Please look out for other films in the series. <laughs>